Welcome to the Ear for Fear podcast, the horror movie podcast that boils and ghouls and dead alike are screaming for. Don't be afraid to listen as Rick and the Creeps bore their way into your brains, slither down onto your arteries, into your still beating hearts. Hi, welcome to the Ear for Fear podcast. This is the podcast that talks about scary movies or movies trying to be scary. I'm Rick. Got the creep back in the house. Mr. Darren. What's up? Sleepy D. How's it going, man? Hey, thanks for coming back out, man. It's been a little... uh, It's been a minute. We took a little bit of a break. I don't know if any of our listeners noticed that or not, but we did. (laughs) You know, well, I mean, we were going strong. That way we did like 75 episodes or mm-hmm. something, no breaks, no nothing. Two plus years, and we just kind of felt, oh, let's let's take a little bit of break, and maybe we we revamp a little bit, not a lot, yeah. the format. Well, um, you know, to kind of change it up. But. Yeah, yeah. So um, today, um, you and I are talking about a 2004's Shudder. Yeah. What I figured we would do is, yeah, we'd gar- grab our cameras, our tripods, our portable lighting, and head down to Thailand. And, and <laughs> But before we go, I got to go see the doctor because I got like this really bad pain in my neck. <laughs> do you? Yeah. You know what it is, do you? I don't. I'd pull up my you, camera, I'll you, take a picture of you, and we'll yeah, see what we'll we see. see. <laughs> we'll see what's up with that. <laughs> um, so... Um, do you want to run? Do you want to do a quick synopsis? You want me to tackle it? No, you're tackling that. You'll, I'll tackle put me it on the spot. I know. On, no. um, so basically, Shutter is about a, a young photographer and his girlfriend discover um, mysterious shadows in their photographs after a tragic accident, and then it starts to kind of slowly unravel on on what's transpired. So For that's sure. kind of like the Cliff Notes version of Shutter. Yeah. From what I understand. I know they did an American remake, which I never watched. 2008, I think, is when I they think did you're right. that. I didn't realize they did two other um, remakes in other countries. So I'm like, damn. Oh, really? Yeah. And I was like, wow. Somehow I feel like, like you know, because, man, Asian, they, they just, they know how to do a, a, a creepy ghost they, story. They really do. And somehow I just feel like, like you know, the American version, probably all Americanized. And, oh, you know, yeah. Like, I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, like, um, uh, you know, uh, Ring was Ringu, and then I think, gr- oh, crap, I forget what Grudge was. I mean, the American versions of those were okay. They were cool, but but there's, you can't capture that same, like, image of those those ghosts and i don't i thought i looked this up before i think there's some sort of like asian folklore and i don't know if it's from each you know different region that they have like this this kind of ghost figure that looks very much the same that yeah. the long black hair the pale yeah, face well, and they sort of have it's that's kind of like their thing right? it, it I mean, seems it's, to be it's, their it's thing. jet black hair that's all stringy and stringy looks and like yeah. it's it's like wet they when they move you know? it's kind of almost contorted and and, and kind they of, do a yeah. lot of that uh uh the freeze frame yes stuff they do they, they, got they going do on. yeah um and so yeah but before we kind of uh i don't know really dive into this thing uh we want to let everyone know that there's going to be spoilers So yeah, man. You know, you know how I am when it comes to uh, subtitled uh, uh, yeah, movies. You know, I, know. I just for me, it's always been subtitled movies force me to have to compete. Like my brain competes <laughs> with the visuals. Like I want to pay attention to the visuals, but yet I know, oh crap! Mm-hmm. I have to like focus on what they're you know the subtitles, and I have to start yeah. reading. And so as a result, I always, almost always resist it to, oh, hey, you know, check out this movie. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's subtitled. I almost <laughs> always will not. I know. I know. Just because of that. And it yeah. sucks, you know, that, that my brain is like that because that movie was damn good. Yeah. And so if, you know, if I continue to have that mentality of like, oh, no, I'm not going to see it just because 
because, uh, you know, the way my brain works, I don't want to have to put in yeah. the work to actually read uh-huh. uh, the dialogue. I'm missing out on a lot of good movies. You really are, Darren, yeah. because there's a lot of, especially on the horror side, there's a lot of great horror movies in other countries. Um, and yeah. And I, I feel the same way. I'll tell you, there's really... T- so I, I jump on board your reason, and then my other reason is my eyes are terrible, <clears throat> and I it's hard for me to read. Yeah. I mean, my eyes... And now the, nowadays, over the last few months, they've gotten even worse, and I've lost a ton of vision in my right eye, and I find it annoying if I have to, you know, read the subtitles and then not pay attention to the visuals. Now... And like we were talking yeah. about this, after about a half an hour, we get used to this. Mm-hmm. And it's not, um, you know, it's not as uh, bad. Right. You know, and so, um, yeah. And and again, I've seen this before. You had never seen this, and that's why I recommended it, because I thought it was kind of up your alley. I kind of thought it'd be something you'd like. Yeah. You know? No, absolutely. You know, and what was great about it was, uh, okay, so uh, so getting back to that, really, just to finish that off, that, that mode of thought, uh, it took me about 20 minutes, I'd say. And then my brain got used to uh, tag teaming, yeah. looking at the visuals and looking at all that while also reading, you know, because I always forget the the subtitles. They seem to do a pretty good job um, not having walls of text. It's, yes. Right? Yes. <clears throat> so I was able to just... After about 20 minutes, I was able to just move past that, and I, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. and then my brain got used to, um, you know, reading while looking at the video. Yeah. So that being said, the story was just super engaging. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, my thoughts initially, uh, you know, when they, uh, when, you know, they're driving, uh, you oh, know, him and it, yeah. Is it, oh, and by the way, put, what, yeah. what the hell car was that? It looked like a freaking I, bubble. It, I don't <laughs> no. know what that was. It almost looked like some like. I, I don't know. I almost thought it was like some old Volkswagen or something, but no. almost like a. I have no idea what it was, but yeah, and maybe for all we know, it's a popular car, car in Thailand. Maybe I don't know. If it, yeah, it was ugly as hell, and I always it always trips me out because I've never been to another country. It still weirds me out that the steering wheel is on the other side. I know a million other people are like ah oh, well, well we've been to other countries. It's I don't know, Darren, if I could ever get used to that well, when only, I'm driving. Yeah, I only did it once, uh, you know, when uh, my wife and I were on honeymoon in Scotland. Um, and I, you drove, and, and I it was on the, the... Oh, yeah. And how there. was it? Was it... It took me about a day or two oh. to um, to get used to that idea, because yeah. not only are you driving on the opposite side of the vehicle, you're driving on the opposite side of the road. Yes. I, so for too, us, I, we're on the right side. Yeah. Right? We're always on the right in your mind, you have to think to yourself, always on the left. No matter what you do, you're on the left. That would, I, I do, that would, that would take a lot for me. Yeah. And they have roundabouts, dude. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about Thailand, but I mean, Scotland, Tack- UK, yeah. you know. Tackling a roundabout <clears throat> on the opposite side that you're used to, on the, and then off the opposite lane that you're, I don't, dude, I don't know yeah. how I could do that. Only one time did I get in trouble. And of course, <laughs> my wife let me know very yeah. quickly. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. I, I got onto the, uh, on a damn freeway. Oh my god! Yeah, like on the wrong side, and she was like, "Oh my dirt, god, dirt, dirt, you know." And I'm like, "Holy oh crap!" God. Yeah, so I like pulled over really quick. That's like the worst place to be on oh, the wrong is. side. Yeah, fortunately there weren't any like like you know cement divider the separating the two, mm. and I was able to basically. Oh quickly, my god! Like, yeah, that would freak me out. Yeah, it did. I think if I went to another country and that <clears> was the thing, I would just get an Uber or something. I'm sure they have Ubers right in other countries. Oh, of course, dude. Of I would course. do that. Yeah. Dude, I, I just want to enjoy myself. I don't want to stress over being on the right side problem, or not. The problem is, is that, we, you know, that particular uh, trip we did, it was a big, giant bed and breakfast fest. So it was like we, we each day we knew the area of Scotland yeah. we wanted to go to. Yeah. And then we would go and find a bed and breakfast there just randomly in a big-ass book we had. Um, you know, so we sort of had to, and, and that was part of the thing too, was driving the countryside. So it was yeah, like, you, you can't get an Uber. For no, that, you, you know? can't. I mean, I guess Scotland <clears throat> would be very different. Like if I was say, go, I'm not, well, I'm not sure where I would go where I'm not really paying attention to the countryside. Cause if I'm going to go, I want to get the full. Well, you do yeah. now. You, and alternatively you could, you know, Edinburgh, that that's their capital, right? You could just get a hotel there 
And then I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you do after that. If you want to explore out, I, I guess you could get a Uber to take you to a specific area and then hang out for the day there and then Uber back. Yeah, I guess you could. I, I mean, don't know. You, you know, yeah, that wasn't we wanted wanted to no, do. We no, well, well, first of all, too, when you guys went, Uber wasn't even a thing. <laughs> well, no, because that no, was we're a, not that, that was a long no, it time is true. ago. There was no Uber. That was like twenty something years ago. It huh? was twenty. Yeah, years yeah. Ago. What so. was it? Twenty. Two or three, something like know. that. Tyra, well, you should know better. Tyra, I apologize. <laughs> if you want, if you're if you're listening to this, um, but uh, so let's let's talk some Shutter here. Uh, yeah. Let's let's run through the characters, and I, I I'm gonna apologize in advance if I butcher these because I is is the main character is it is it Toon Tun 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 Tun. Okay, really okay. quick, dude. I, I this is gonna be the my first little tiny peeve uh-huh. I have. Okay. They went and, and gave the other character, you know, his girlfriend, the most Americanized, plain ass name yeah. you could get, Jane. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? I don't. I don't know. I. Why would they do that? In the man? sense of us talking about her, it's easier for us to say. Well, of course it is. But I, mean, I know look, it's I fairly know. easy for us to say ton, ton. Well, yeah, but see, I wrote it down, and I was like, well, is it tune? Is it ton? It's definitely it's a ton. ton. Yeah. Okay. And Jane, yeah, because that is pretty generic. Jane or John, it's like John Doe Dude, or it, Jane Doe. It's like, yeah, it's like totally. But what was, okay, how did you pronounce the other the other girl? Is it the, well, we're going to know she's the ghost, but is it, is it, it looks like uh, Natra? N- no, it's like, I thought it was uh, Nadra. Nadra? Nadra? Okay. Nadra? Yeah, Nadra, okay. Nadra, okay. Yeah. I'm okay. I'll go with that. I or don't, either that or it was, or uh, Nader. Nader, N- 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 Okay. Well, because the er, the the end of it is uh, it's N A D R E. Well, no. See, I have N A T R E. That's the spelling on IMDb. Is it N A T R E? Okay. But so how? But what's the I, more focus on the R E part, not the okay. D, D or T part? Okay. It's R E at the end. Yes. So so you really so I think you pronounce it's it's kind of like a, a Nader Nader or, or Nader, N- Nader? Something, yeah Nader. Anyways, we'll we'll go with that, and we apologize if that's incorrect. And then you got Tan, Jim, and Ming, and yeah. those were his friends. And really, that's kind of like there's a few other characters here, but the, the really the main three are are Tan, Nader, and then Jane. Well, T- Nader's the ghost, basically. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, <clears throat> what what ha- we don't need to go through every single thing, but the beginning we get like some exposition. They're they're at like a looks like almost like a restaurant and um it's it's uh ton and his friends and uh and jane is there yep and uh and you know they're drinking and they're you know they're having all the dialogue whatever it's yeah. really not super duper important right the drive home is important because uh jane is driving because tons had a little bit of a uh, little bit of alcohol and uh and uh they end up, which is hilarious, because do do people never open their eyes in horror movies when they're driving? Because the, oh, someone always seems to get hit. Like, I mean, it happens. At, I mean, what was I know what you did last summer? I mean, okay, thank you because I was just gonna I was gonna mention that. Yeah, right out of the gate, that's the vibe I got. Oh, I know like, what you did, last, what summer. You did last summer. Yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I see where this is gonna go. It's like somebody. <laughs> somebody's like actually saw them like drive away yeah. and like, you know, commit that crime. Uh-huh. Yeah. Turned out it was no, bad. not at all. Not didn't at even all. come close to that. Um, but, but they, yeah. they hit, they hit, it looks like a, a female and they drive off and, and really Jane wanted to make sure she was okay. Oh yeah. But Ton was like, no, I mean, and this kind of, do you think he knew who, who it was at the time? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. I think, I think in my head, I felt that, they had been, I don't know if she drank, but we know he drank. So are they going to assume, you know, they're both, I, I don't know. And then something kind of happens where it's like, well, you don't want to ruin your life. Cause it looks like, I think she's finishing up her fourth year in college and going on to do bigger and better things. And it's like, well, why throw your life away for an accident? So they drive off, but, and he, I think he feels a little remorse, but more so Jane feels, feels a lot more. Oh, for sure. Well, it. she was yeah. the driver. Yes. So right there, she's got the driver guilt yeah. going on. Right, yeah. And uh, but then, but then we we start to see like um, 
we start to see little things, still little visions. Um, we start to see things in, in photographs. He starts to get that, the pain in his neck. The pain in his neck. Dude, I'll be honest with you, man. <clears throat> like, when I saw this the first time, I just thought it was whiplash from oh, the of accident. Course, of course. I had no idea. No, I'm you like, would not even in a million know. years think of that, man. Like, I mean, I don't want to get to that ending because I thought it was a fucking great ending. Yeah. Like, it really threw me yeah, off. for sure, man. Um, but we're getting just little... Little visuals, like he um, he he takes pictures at a graduation. He goes to develop them, and he, and there's these weird, like almost like shadowy, you know, stuff happening. And he's like, "Well, it's no, I know it's not my camera." Mm -hmm. And then, um, and but I do know there was the one scene where he's taking a picture of like all of them, and he's panning throughout all of oh, these yeah. students, and he sees the and, the glimpse of it's like she's in the shadow. Yes, like behind she's, two yeah, people. Yes, like yeah. And so we're starting to get a little bit of pieces of this, and and he's uh, he develops f a, a film, and you can see a it's almost like a, uh, a silhouette of a it looks like a female's face, right? But I don't feel at this point he is tripping out on this too much. Like I almost feel like Jane is more <clears throat> because he's you know he's a photographer. That's like his job. That's what yeah, he's that's did, what he does, what he for does a right? Yeah. So. He, in a way, uh, his scientific mind is kicking in where he's like, well, th this has got to be some problem with the film or some yeah. problem with the exposure. Some some over but, some double exposure, where correct. which is a thing, right? It, certainly. Like I don't know if it's yeah. a thing with digital photography. But, I, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe and, it is. And I even think the work, the guy at the, uh, I don't know, let's call him the photo hut. The photo. <laughs> photo <laughs> we're, mat. We're going <laughs> old school. Photo mart. The photo mart. Yeah. You remember those back in the oh, day? It God, had yeah. like, yeah. it almost was like a little Starbucks, like it, like an offshoot of like all these coffee places, but it was like, you could go and drop off your a uh, film and have them developed in this little tiny, and it was a hut and <clears throat> it would be like in, in some parking lots yeah. anyway. And I don't, <clears throat> dude, it had been so long. Like I had forgot. That whole pro, you know, I mean, dude, digital photography oh, yeah. has really just changed and revolutionized yeah. the way it has. we deal with with um, imagery, you yeah. know. Um, but I had to like, I had to like think back. I'm like, oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember like taking, you know, the negatives, oh, you know, yeah. to get them processed. And uh -huh. and in the back of my mind, I was always like, are these people like these companies that did that you know get them uh, developed? Like her doing the developing of the film, or are they going through and like looking at my picture? Oh, I'm sure they were. Yeah, right. What was that one movie with Robert, uh, Robin Williams? Uh, what, what was it? One hour photo or well, something yeah. like? Yeah, I mean, he was crazy. He was taking people's pictures and stuff, and he, and he was putting them on his wall. So uh -huh. yeah, dude, I bet you it was a thing. Absolutely, dude. You know. Yep. So you really couldn't take any. Well, you, you could. Know. I mean, because really, at the end of the know. day, you're never going to see those people. So there's a, there was a bit of anonymity there, uh, a little bit, uh, correct? Because they're yeah. never going to see you. You're never going to see them. You know, sure, you're going to go to back to the store, the CVS, far wherever it was you you got them developed. Yeah, you know, I'm here to pick up my pictures. You know, and you're in the back, maybe in your mind, you're hoping that the store clerks <laughs> didn't go Diddle, through them either. That up. Right, so let's pretend, pretend for a minute that they didn't go through any of that. There's anonymity there, yeah. You know, in the back of my mind, you you know that they pro you know whoever processed the uh, the negatives probably looked because of course, yeah, yeah. You know? But who cares if you don't? You're never going to see them. They're never going to see you, right? I, I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, it's still weird. It is a little. Thank weird. God for whoever invented digital photography. That's I mean, nowadays, saying. yeah, you can, I mean, you know, I remember you could, you drop it off and you get it back like a week later. Yeah. Well, you know, the and only, then, the only just, problem with the digital photography really, the, the, you know, that has become is a uh, fakery. Yeah. Which yeah. you still could doctor a uh, traditional film. You, yeah. you absolutely could, but yeah. way easier to, to, to doctor and, and uh, to compromise a, a digital yeah. asset. Well, you know, it's funny you bring that up because in, in Shutter they talk about where, you know, he's talking about uh, how, how, you know, you're seeing these images, but it could be a double exposure. And then they start doing some more research and they find a place. I think it was it in a magazine. Was it a magazine they were reading or something? And it it was talking about you know Im ghost images and photos. And then they go and visit the place where 
And you're seeing them work where they're they're literally taking a regular photograph and they're grabbing like something and whether I don't know what program let's call it Photoshop. Well, and it, was, yeah. it was a Photoshop. Yeah, they're was. grabbing an, an image that looks like a ghost and they they are literally planting it in this photo to, so that it looks like oh my god it's a ghost. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and because obviously it. People are intrigued by that. It sells more copies. For sure. If you have a magazine, yeah. you want to sell more. And so what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to fudge a little of these things. Oh, absolutely. But while talking to them, the guy shows him like Polaroids. And he's like, well, you can't fake a Polaroid. Yeah. You know? Yep. Because it is what it is. It's, yeah. you know. It, and it's processed immediately after it, the picture is taken and it's shot out of the the front of the camera. Yeah. You know, that that's that, that whole... I don't know that the whole rectangular, you know, portion of the photograph is all the processing uh, 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 chemicals. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think it's still brilliant that something like that, like, yeah. is, and and not, they they still have Polaroids. They're just fancier these days. Yeah, um, but I always just love that idea of just take. I mean, look, it's tiny. Obviously, it's not the greatest, but the fact that it's immediate is yeah. pretty damn cool. Yeah, absolutely. And that and that basically comes into play throughout <clears throat> throughout this throughout this film. Yeah, it does. Because um, they also now they at some point don't they like go to like uh, I think they went to the college or something. Or so a, Jane, yeah, Jane is noticing like I think she uh, 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 Tun had all these photos um, sitting on like. Um, like a table, like a coffee table or something, and she she knocks them down and goes to pick them up, and she starts to realize they're they're all very similar. Mm -hmm. This 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 kind of shadow or whatever this is, and it's it's by this building because because yeah. when he was taking the photos near the beginning of the movie, it was a graduation, so they're all outside of the university, mm -hmm. and so she starts putting kind of two and two together, and so she goes she goes to this. And I want to say it's the science building, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the science building. And she goes and she starts again because they're getting they're they're starting to see more visions, right. you know. Um, throughout this film, he's um, he's in his uh, his uh, his dark room, mm -hmm. and someone comes in. He just assumes it's Jane. Yeah, and then all of a sudden he gets a phone call and it's Jane, and he's like, "Holy shit! Yep. Someone was in there with me." Yep. You know, and so, so yeah, she takes the Polaroid and she starts snapping these pictures and, um, yeah, there you go. Just yeah. like, well, it was a Polaroid. So it was like that wasn't as cool as that, but that's a cool, doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It is cool. That's right. Um, and she starts snapping once and, and really not seeing anything. And then, and then, uh, she snaps, uh, I think a dozen, a picture falls, a picture falls off the wall that startles her. She goes over to see it and she sees this woman and then she takes a picture and then sees like a ghostly image, you know, which is the, uh, what part, what the door is shut. Uh, obviously the dark room's going because it's like a red light. You can yeah, see in her, yeah. you know, and then there was like someone in there and then like, also oh, the, the door was like the, the doorknob starts, you know, going. So remember Jane, she, yeah. the, like the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the creepy ghost, yeah. girl, you know, she comes out of like the, it's like the sink or something. Yeah. Oh yes. So what, yes. What happened was, so Jane, um, Jane comes into Tun's house, assuming he's in his dark room. Right. Because you can see like oh, a well, shadow, the like red light. Yeah. You can see like people, uh -huh. someone. Yeah. And so she's, door. she's trying to get in, but the door is locked and she keeps yelling at him like, Hey Tun, let me, you know, let me mm -hmm. in. Are you there? And then, and then uh, the door, the handle starts to shake and then it opens like yeah. where she can get in. She goes in to look around. No one's in there, which is freaking her out because she saw a shadow mm -hmm. underneath kind of like the door, you know, the door, the, uh, the very bottom of the door where you can kind of see a shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Then yes, yeah, she looks at the sink and sees um, like it, so, something is in the sink, and it just looks like a big glob of like hair and something, yeah. like hands come out of like the side of the sink. Dude, and, yeah. it's so creepy, man. Honestly, like, man, the the visuals on these things are just do they they just scare you. Um, even when you know it's coming, it's 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 very creepy and unsettling. You very know? much, very um, much so, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, um, but yeah, I think that was kind of early early on in the film, but all these things are happening where they're, and they're working together to try to figure out what's, what's going on here. Yeah. And, um, but she, uh, she picks, she grabs, doesn't she grab like a, a yearbook? Now, 
Dude, this is going to sound stupid, but do colleges, universities have yearbooks? Because <laughs> she clearly had it. They were in college at a university, and she grabbed a yearbook and was looking through it, and she was able to find her. Yeah. And <clears throat> and and then, I, I don't I'm, know. I'm is that gonna, a thing? No, I'm going to go ahead and say it probably is. It's probably a um, thing? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I you know, when I, when I went to college, it was like years after I graduated high school and yeah. and I just don't remember them having something like that. But they probably did, I guess. I'm I'm But that means you'd have to get all the students to get to take pictures and when you're in, in high school it's kind of more structured. When you're in university, man, you're coming and going as whatever. I just it's hard to believe like that's a thing. Unless it's like a private like a private university or I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just crazy here. I don't uh Yeah, I don't know. That's the that's my short yeah. answer. I I don't know. Uh, you make good points. I mean, I hadn't really considered that. I'm like, yeah. Well, I mean, in high school, it's like you, you know, there's just a there's that week or whatever that is or that day there. I don't even is yeah. it a week or a day uh, where, where where they schedule a photographer to you know. Usually, it's like well, in high like school, a, it was like, a, like a, it was like a day. It's like a day, right? Yeah, it was you, like you a just day. have your time. You do it. Yeah. Everybody just kind of shows up there. You just correct take a picture. And yeah, you move on right. So. In college, it's certainly not like, at least definitely not like in like, you know, like a JC level or even, yeah. you know, like, you know, when I was, well, <laughs> when I, I did my bachelor's uh, degree online, so I mean, there wasn't yeah. anything like that. But I mean, I don't know about any kind of private universities or or oh, anything no. like that, or even like, you know, like the, the UZ system, or I have no idea. I'm going to assume now, no. That's what, see, I was thinking. And maybe, maybe this maybe this is a Thailand thing, dude. I, maybe it's a Thai thing. I, I don't know. Or maybe it was just the fact that it was convenient for the story. Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. But she but <laughs> right. she finds the woman and then she confronts Tun. Like, who is she? Yeah. And then he goes to kind of, you know, tell her the story. Mm -hmm. At least a let's say, let's just call it part one of the story. He 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 uh he leaves out the most important part that we'll find out later on in the movie. But you know he basically Nader is that what we decided to call her was Nader yeah there's a call her Nader we'll and call her Nader going to apologize we yeah her name. yeah um so she was in one of their classes him and his friends knew of her and she was very strange and but he befriended her and they became um well intimate right they were together yeah, yeah. um so she was a um. A very uh, awkward yes. individual, very socially awkward, yes. very quiet, very, you know, is just one of those kinds of uh, um, people that uh, are going to get teased, essentially. I mean, you know, that, yeah. and that's what, that's what happened. Yeah. You know, she just, not immediately pissed me off. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it it did me too. It did to me, me too. Because, yeah, I mean, I, I get it. I'd be, you know, especially in, you know, I mean... It's hard enough in school. I mean, hell, dude, I would say from junior high on, it's already difficult to fit in and and you know, and then and then you get to college and let's say you were like that through middle school and through high school. And I don't know in Thai in Thailand, you know, let's just assume it's the same <clears> as here. You get to college and you've been this way for so long and you've probably been bullied and made fun of and then you get to college and you think it's going to be different. And it's not, and you got these, these you know, th these young adult men who are assholes. Mean, are assholes to her, mean to really, her. Really, really quick, let me yeah. jump in here. Uh, so, I, what I looked up, most colleges currently do not have yearbooks. However, there are still some that have them, um, and then uh, they're they're not really called yearbooks. Yeah, they're um, like so collegiate and, and university yearbooks. They're also called annuals. Um, oh, and okay. they're typically uh, published by student body administrations. Okay, um, that is going to all of that assumes that whoever is attending the college decides to to get their picture taken. Oh, okay, you know, okay. I, I think because you know when you get into college, you're an adult. Yeah, you're treated like an adult. Yeah. You 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 want it or you don't. So I mean, not everyone probably would end up in it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Anyways, um, so so we so so. Tun and Nader, they have a relationship. But you can tell as as he's telling the story to Jane and they're showing us this, you could tell he he liked her, but he wasn't into her as much as she was into him. Oh, for sure. 
Like, I mean, oh, for sure. Man. She bought him that 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 expensive camera, which he yeah. reacted. So he, look, yeah. he so what it was was he? You know, he, I the way I interpreted it was he was into her, but this the social awkwardness and all of that that stuff embarrassed him. Yes, and he did not want his friends to know they were together. Yes. Because yeah, he was embarrassed. He, he was embarrassed He was by embarrassed it. by yeah. it. And so he kept her as sort of like his dirty little secret. Yes. Kind of that which was just so mean. And shit pissed um, me off. Yeah. Man, right? Cause yeah. she, yeah, she's, she didn't deserve that man. And, and so when he, cause there was that elevator scene. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where the three of the, his friends are making They're, fun of her and, and he's in the back there and just the sort of kind of like, just, you know, not, he's not defending sure. her. Yeah. Not he's not anything. defending at all, dude, where yeah. he actually giggled a little bit. Yeah, I'm just like, it. you asshole, yeah. man. Cause he's like, tr- he's like stuck in this, like, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be cool with my, my, my buddies, but yeah. yet I don't want to, but I don't want to totally, yeah, like just openly, uh, uh, um, um, bully her or tease her or whatever because I'm dating yeah. her. What's sad, but, you Darren, know, like, this is this is what's sad about the situation, Darren, is she was so in love with him yeah. and so infatuated by him that that did not seem to matter to her. She would, no. she probably oh, yeah. would allow him to treat, to treat her mm. however he wanted to and she was going to stay there and that's what's so sad about this. So I think there's some, I think there was some mental uh, instability or mental uh, health problems with her yeah i do yeah i think also well well yeah because i mean when when he eventually breaks up with her she's just didn't she try to kill herself with uh did she slice her wrist or was it yeah she did slice her wrist and she also sat there against the wall with that knife like literally like oh yes running running her her whole like like grabbing it with the palm of her hand and literally like you know something that you know my um my old daughter tiana uh, watched. Uh, she came in about half. Oh, she. That's where she came in. She came yeah. in. Yeah, and and she watched that with me, and ah, that like gave her like. I hate she's stuff, like, yeah. dude. I can't deal with like it's, it's so it's it's crazy, man. Like you know, watching horror movies as long as I have and stuff, and and like especially like the slasher genre. As I've and I've and I mentioned this in other episodes. As I've gotten older, I just I can't. I hate especially when someone mm-hmm. inflicts the, it on themselves. Yep. Like I can. <laughs> I can tolerate if you got a Jason and he's I don't know he's taking a machete to someone that doesn't bother me as much it's as someone actually doing physically like in the initial uh, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre that scene in the van where they pick up the guy and he's cutting himself oh my god do yeah. stuff like that I can't deal with it man yeah you know and so her sla- slashing her wrist or or running the that knife across her hand dude I I cringe man I'm like oh <laughs> yeah for sure dude that 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 gets me every time but but what he did to her was just jacked up man yeah what it forced and then and then she was so so in gaga over him infatuated that his friends had to intervene and they did something to her again that's going to come up later okay but but we won't get to that right now. Right. What what we know is she left the university. He tells Jane, "I don't know. She just disappeared one day." Yeah, doesn't doesn't tell her anything. You know, he he basically says, "Look, you know, um, I wanted to love her. I really did, but I just it wasn't going to happen. I knew I wasn't going to feel the same way that she felt about me." Yeah. yeah, and so she left. Supposedly went back home, and. And the story we get was that she tried to kill herself with pills. She, uh, she got to the hospital. They 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 revived her. She was okay. And then she decided to take her life by jumping off the 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 uh, the roof of the hospital and killed herself. Mm-hmm. Now, when Jane and and Tun decide to go to her home to talk to her mother, mm-hmm. we think that she's alive and she's all everything's. She's just. I did for a minute. But I did for only- like. A second, like it only Darren. took like me it, a second, yeah. dude. Like I was like, in fact, in fact, that you know what it was? It was when the fly oh, landed, landed on, on, the, on drink. The, the drink. Yeah, I was like, oh, I turned to I turned to Tiana. I'm like, nah. <laughs> the minute you start seeing flies, that means there's <sighs> um, there's like uh, uh, either, e- either it's evil, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, like happening there, or uh, something's rotting. 
Yes. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I'm like, nah, I bet, bet anything uh-huh. that they, they're going to go into the room and she's going to be a nasty corpse. <laughs> yeah. All and you, you yep. totally. Yeah, yeah. 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 And what was all of those things outside the room? Was that something to help with the smell? Yes. Is that what yes. that was? Because there was like hundreds of them. Yeah, man. What was it? I don't even know. I don't know. know. It was but something. That's what yeah. it was, man. It yeah. Was, it was, yeah. Yeah. Because they went yeah, to. Man, that, that smell would be horrendous. Horrendous. Yeah. And, and they're like, you know, they go to the mom, like, why haven't you cremated her? Cause their idea is like, because, uh, they're, they're, because of all these things that are happening now. Okay. Did, um, before they went to, um, the mother's house, is that what, did his friends start k- k- killing themselves or was that after? I, th- <clears throat> I almost want to say s- it was after I want to say, I want to say that, that, it was right out, like shortly after that. That he went. That, that okay. That, so all his that friends the were friends start, started because it was yeah. ton ton ton. I don't remember. It was uh, T O N N, and then he goes to his house to check in on him, mm-hmm. and so, he walks in. He's he's the house is just disheveled. Yeah, and then he throws himself off the building. Well, then his wife comes home and and he's like what is up with you and your friends and like what are you talking about well the other two had committed suicide as well he had no idea how does he not know his two other friends had killed themselves unless it happened so close to each other i I don't know man i guess i mean it's a different time you're referring to when when the the one when the guy the friend of his like like jumps off the balcony yeah dude that's crazy man yeah i don't know what it you know i'm already i get I mean, I'm not afraid of heights. Oh, I am to where oh, yeah. to where it's debilitating, or I should say, I'm not afraid of heights to where like I won't put myself in a situation where I'm high up. If, okay, does that make sense? Yeah. However, I get this weird, like, funny feeling in my stomach, my lower stomach, when I am high, high up, mm-hmm. and I look down. I get this like. I don't know. It's um, this funny, weird, tickly I feeling in my in my stomach. So it's debilitating for me. Is it? It really yeah. is, Darren. Like I can't um, uh, tell you a story. When I went to when we went to Vegas a long time ago. We went to the Stratosphere. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's that little big yeah. Oh, tall yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Do we, as we were going up the elevator, my ears started popping, and I was like, okay. And I don't do heights, and so they have these windows, these thick windows, and you could look out. Dude, I wasn't even close to the window. I was probably like eight to ten feet away from the window. I can't do heights. Yeah, I I can't do them. But like I'll watch Instagram clips, like the little reels, and people are up high. I have to go. I have to go right past it. Oh, see, I now can't that even doesn't deal. bother me. It's oh. a, it's when it's I'm. When, it's like when it's real. I can watch a thing without any can't, problem. Dude, but I, it like, freaks me. Out. But yeah, like when they when that happened, and and then they started to get close to the balcony, yeah. and you can see oh, out yeah. into the skyline, and I'm like, oh god, that's got to yeah. be like what is that twenty five so, stories? High oh, or? dude, it it was like, high, and he landed right on the car. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Okay, so do you think it was just the fact that that his friends were getting the same images he was getting, but maybe far worse? Yeah. And and they, they it yeah, just she, they just couldn't deal with it she, anymore. She drove them basically drove them mad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, and so, but the, okay, so after they find this out, they go to the mothers. We see this. They're thinking, okay, look, you know, mom, you have to cremate her yeah. because because we feel <clears throat> that her 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 ghost or her spirit is is it's unsettled. It's it yeah. hasn't passed over, right? And and because right. you haven't done this, and so once you do. It should end everything. Right. That's the idea. Sounds great. Well, I mean, that was, well, what else do they have to go on? I mean, you know, everything is pointing to that. In fact, uh, um, <clears throat> the guy from the, uh, the teacher from the university, or, you know, I think, or who was it? Someone, they talked to somebody and that oh, person it, was explaining. It was the guy uh, at the magazine. Uh, uh, yes. He was right. showing them pictures and he's like, you know, usually... You know, they, they attach themselves, right, right. attach themselves to someone that they just can't live without or they care or whatever it is, whatever right. words you want so to throw So in out. their mind, you know, they're feeling like there needs to be closure here. Yes. The fact that she's not been cremated, there's no, there's no closure there. We got to put this spirit to rest yeah. and that in their mind, that's. Yeah. Now, mind you, this is important. You know, Tun has gone to the doctor <clears throat> <clears throat> to have them look at his neck. Oh yeah. yeah. And he this was a scene he steps on the scale and the woman the nurse has him step off, has him step on again. 
we don't know as the audience why she's doing we find this out later and 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 the doctor goes you know it seems like you're fine you know, yeah, <laughs> and so, and it, but again, the, the the neck pain persists throughout the movie. Yeah, and you just chalk it up to a, a sprain or a whatever, like you like know, you said, or, the whiplash. Yeah. And so, um, uh, but then we, um, so we're there's uh, oh the scene in the the scene in the bathroom where he stops, and uh, he's going to the bathroom, and then he. Uh, Oh, you know, yeah, yeah he, he oh, runs yeah. out of toilet paper. Oh, that cracked me up. Oh, dude. my God, dude. I like I didn't even see that coming. No, not at all. I'm like, oh, crap, it's her. I actually laughed out loud. Did you? I did. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Well, it was funny, dude. Funny. It was a, it was it was a, a basically a man. A man. Yeah. No, a tra- is a trans trans yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, he thinks tra- it's a he thinks it's the yeah. ghost because yeah. the the hand comes from underneath with like holding the toilet paper and it has like fingernails and he and he's like and then he kicks in the door and yeah, it's the trans. <laughs> I laughed out loud. That was, was a like, good little bit of humor. I just didn't see that coming. Yeah. yeah. I didn't well, either. it was appropriate. I think it was appropriately timed. Because everything up to that point was very, very kind of, you know, weighing down the movie. Yes, and I and it needed just a, a little, little bit, of, bit yeah. of humor, a little bit, a of, little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the idea here is let's 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 have a service for Nader, let's let's do it properly, and then and then hopefully it will end this. Yeah, our visions and everything that we're seeing here. Because there's a the do you remember when he um. <laughs> remember when he was in bed and the blanket got pulled oh god oh yeah. my god i hate stuff like that oh my god dude and she's sitting there and she's crawling up on the bed and then didn't he run out of the he runs out he goes down the stairs but every time he's running down the flight of stairs he still ends up at level four mm-hmm. i looked this <clears throat> up level four in 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 and i don't know if it has anything to do with thai but it just the asian community as a whole Number four is unlucky, uh, and so I don't Asian know. Culture, yeah, I don't know yeah. if that was a that was a reason for level four. I don't, I don't probably, know. You, know, I, you know, yeah, sure. Um, but anyways, so they ha- they have this service, but once once it's all done, they're thinking, hey, everything is good, and they're still seeing stuff. Yeah, stuff is still happening, <clears throat> man. Yep. And what? Okay, and I'm I'm hoping I don't forget anything here. When she is going through, um, when Jane is going through the photos and she starts seeing like, uh, cause they think it's good. And like a week later is passed. Was it like a week or a month has passed? And they think everything's golden. Jane goes to the, yeah. let's call it the photo hut again or the photo mat yeah. and picks up the pictures and looking through them. And she starts seeing, you know, like images, right? Yeah. What was it that she saw that made her go? What? Um, well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Now, was it the fact that the... Okay. Okay. She picked up... This is what it was. She picked up the photos. They had photos from their vacation that they went on. That's right. Then there was other photos that they didn't know were on the on the film. Right. Because it was from... Because the camera was sitting and on... Wasn't it, uh, and wasn't it like pictures of uh, them on the couch? Correct. When he was laying on her lap. Yes. Yes. And Now, then, this is the same camera that, that Nader had bought ton. Right. Yeah. Right. And so she, so there's, I don't know how many pictures there is, but she, she's looking at them. You know what was awesome? Is yeah. that where you were going? Yeah. When, when the, with the stack yeah. and, and then, and she's you know, one of the flip books. Dude, that was like, sick. Like, yeah, dude, that was awesome. You remember doing that as a kid? Yes, I like, remember doing I that were, as a kid. I remember drawing that <laughs> yes, stuff. I would, on draw. the, I would do it on the edge of uh-huh. uh, my, um, like the best thing was post-it pack yeah, because, yeah. because they're already together and you could flick, flip it. I would do it on my textbooks. <laughs> oh well, yes. Oh, you did on your textbooks. The margins of the textbook. Oh, you would. I would. The ones from school. Fuck yes. Oh, yeah. Don't don't you get in trouble for that? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, in high school, you didn't care so much. <laughs> uh, this, this was well, no. <laughs> this was grammar school. Man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, I used to do. Yeah, I guess. I guess back in the day, I don't think I used post its. Now we would do it because we have ex- access to post its more regularly. But right. when we were kids. Yeah, I probably would. I probably would. Like Either take my notebook, binder, dude, my, my, yeah, yeah, and then I would yeah. draw like a little stick guy. Yeah, it would be usually stick stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. And and like for me, it would always be like a, be like some sort of a gun fight or or, yeah. or like uh, yeah. a sword thing where I'm like <laughs> yes. chopping it up yeah. and I, I would make the limbs fly off. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. you know what I would do because I wasn't great at it is I would 
I would draw a stick figure and, and the stick figure would like, like the legs would move like it was jumping. Yeah. Like, so like it was jumping up and down because yeah. I was not that great at it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, totally. I threw a little bit of blood in there. It gets like the yeah, thing, yeah, a little know. splatter or something. It was the yeah. pen that had the four colors that you could. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. You, know? you click. Yeah. Yes, so so, yeah. so the, the, the bottom <laughs> half of the pen was blue. The top half was white. Yeah, and it had the four, um, uh-huh. the four little. Yes, I remember it that. Had a, it had a black, a red, a blue, mm. and a green. green. Yes, it did. Yep. Yeah, they, I never felt they were great pens though. Oh, they, they never not. wrote they, great. You know, but, but I remember when they came out, I was like, "Oh, these are so awesome, man!" But they're they so it, revolutionary. It was. They just gave, gave you all the colors, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I would like grab that, throw a little bit of blood on there. Yeah, but it was funny. Was they'd be always like, I'd have the bullet going. And, and then it, oh, would like, yeah. it would like it would like hit the head and be like, psh, yeah, you know? yeah yeah <laughs> yeah oh my god Anyways. that's funny yeah. but yeah so she takes the she she starts seeing images in the photo photographs and she starts putting them together yeah and then she starts flicking them and and it's and literally you could see, see the her uh, nader she's cr- her like on the crawling ground crawling to like, like a towards book the bookcase case. yeah yeah, yeah and Jane's like huh and so she goes to the bookcase. And uh, she finds the uh, the negatives yeah. that he had hid. Yep. Yeah. And then and then she starts seeing this, and it's like, yeah. and then we start seeing the yeah the raping the raping yeah, yeah. the story of so so this is when the, his friends they were drunk they go to the science room she is there mm-hmm. and um yeah dude they end up they end up uh, raping her. Uh, yeah. Attacking her and raping her, oh, and, for then, sure. and, and then and then Tun comes in the and and does nothing about it. In fact, takes pictures. Well, now you could t- okay. I am not justifying any of this. He felt a little little remorse, but dude, what the fuck? You couldn't do anything. So his friends asked him to take the damn pictures. Okay, so I uh, so in fairness, I even you know he came in obviously, and obviously he didn't stop it, but. I don't believe he would have taken any pictures. His friends insisted yeah, that they, yeah. he take the pictures, and you know because he's a punk ass, and he and you know he apparently you know can't think for himself. He just takes these pictures, and you could tell he kind of doesn't like the, what he's doing, but he yeah. still does it. And he's an he asshole. It. He's an it. asshole because he couldn't stick up to you his know his when friends. that when when that scene, dude. I I I was already not very empathetic to him yeah you know um but right there i was like no nah, you're actually worse you're you're yeah. worse than your friends oh he absolutely like, because they they came at it they already were just bullies and and yeah. and, and you know mean and you know everything that you can come up with to describe them they were already that yeah okay so they weren't pretending to be something they weren't they just were mm-hmm. that yeah they were just teasing yep. her they were just bullying her they were just yeah. doing all of that Anyways, he was being, um, he backstabbed her. He betrayed her. Yeah. You know, he, uh, you know, uh, strung her along, made her feel like she was this when it was that. And, you know, so I, so to me, he was substantially worse than any of his friends. Yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously that's, I mean, she was raped and that is horrendous. Of course. Horrendous. It's horrible. And, and yeah, just terrible, but he's beneath contempt. But the fact that he allowed, he allowed it to happen, did nothing. Mm -hmm. And the way he treated her was just, it was just so bad. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, so when Jane finds this confronts him and he, yeah, he comes clean. It's like you asshole, man, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, I helped you with all of this stuff, you know, thinking that this would, you know, solve the issue in this, in this, you know, we laid her to rest, whatever. And she would go away and we would, I don't know, live yeah. happily ever after. And then you hid this. Yeah. And so she, yeah, she confronts him and bounces man, which is what she should have done. Yeah. You yeah. know, and, yeah. and then he's so, um, okay. So we, <laughs> we get to the, okay. So we get to the, this is near the, the climactic ending here where, Jane is gone, and he feels that uh, Nader's presence is in the house, and he he's yelling, "Hey, where are you? Show yourself, whatever it is, you know." And he starts taking pictures, sees nothing, sees nothing, and then um, doesn't he doesn't he throw the camera down or something like that? Because he takes a bunch of pictures, and we see them all over the floor. We see nothing, and then um, does he drop? Oh, that's what it is. Does he take the picture? 
does, I can't, can't remember, dude. Does the, the does the Polaroid camera drop and then it takes a picture of? So he drops the camera. The camera takes the picture and then he goes to look at it and then and it's her on his shoulders, dude. Oh man, that one to me was like a monkey on your back. That was dude, one it was of those crazy moments, because yeah. it. So oh, so and she's uh, she's covering his eyes. Remember? Yeah. Because he starts to... Um, oh, that's right. Remember? Yeah. yeah. And then that was what makes him uh, uh, go out Eventually. the window. But it makes... Okay. So let before we get to the window part. So we see foreshadowing because there's scenes with them when they're together and she's kind of riding his back and, yeah. and in bed when she's just, you know, embracing yeah. him like... Yeah. And so, so all of these things that the, the neck pain... The fact that the nurse was like, "There's no way you no, weigh this." Nothing, yeah, right. Because it, wa- it it weighted it down. Yeah. And then I think when they went, there was a scene when he went to see the mom. There was a little a kid that could that looked at him and almost could see yeah. the fact that she was on on him. But yeah, dude, she's on him the whole time and like, well, attached to him. Not maybe the whole time, but but you know, at this particular point. Yeah. And and he starts to stumble and he and he. And he falls out the window, and we think he's dead. Yeah. Well, I mean, how are you going to survive from That's that? That's what I don't understand. Let's say they're on the fourth floor, because earlier it said level four. For yeah. f- you're, I yeah. mean, if you're falling four stories, more than likely you're going to die. Man, I thought he was dead. I mean, there's no way he's not. Like I thought for sure he was dead, but no, it turned out he survived it. Yeah. He's in the hospital. Yeah. In like a room. It this kind of, like you know, he- what this kind of reminded me of a little bit is uh, high tension. The ending in high tension a little bit. I wasn't sure if this was, um, well, obviously it was a, a, a hospital room, but I, it almost seemed like a psychiatric. Like a mental, yeah, like a mental ward or that's something. That's what it seemed like. Yeah, me, it but. did a little bit to me too. Yeah. Um, and then she goes to, you know, his head is shaved, but he's hunched down. Yeah, yeah. And, and really you don't kind of think much of it because it's like something like any of us would if we were sitting on a say a, a bed a small little bed and our and our feet were on the ground it's it's kind of a pose that we would have and sure and so she, but she opens the the door and we see a, the reflection yeah. of yeah and it's in it's and she's like still just like she's on dude she's still on him <laughs> that, man. Yeah, man oh yeah. my god that was perfect to me like it was it, honestly i had, i didn't see it coming at all yeah. And uh, it was a hell of an ending, man. It was. Uh, it was. It was very. It's a very creepy, scary ending. And for those who haven't seen it, yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, you turned us off and watched it and then come back because we ruined this ending for you. But <laughs> pretty much. But yeah. But I mean, they all kind of got what they deserved, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The way they, they, the way they, you Absolutely. know, what they did to this, you know, this for sure. woman. I for mean, sure. No, to me, I felt like, yep, good. I felt a little. But I felt a little, little remorse for him before we found out that last part. Uh, obviously, after that, it was like, no, asshole, you. I felt like, because I could see his, not the way he broke up with her, you know, but I could see, I could see his side. Okay, she is, she's a little odd, but, but I was attracted to that. And, and, and she to- is totally into me more than I'm into her. But th- it's, it's, it's fucked up. But, you know, him breaking up with her, it's the other, adding the other part to that equation, then it's like it's all out the window. I felt a little, not a lot, dude, just a little before I found out that last part. I understand what you're saying. For me, it wasn't enough to, nah. uh, to, to, for me to develop enough empathy for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Just wasn't quite enough. I needed a little bit more for me to, 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 to have any kind of, you know, and then of course, as, as it went on with all of that, that I just was like, nope, no. Nope. Yeah. So, so um, you could argue this is one of the um, one of the first horror movies, at least for me, where I came out the other end of it, um, like, like, yeah, for like the ghost, for the ghost, huh? You know what I mean? For for the evil for that the was evil. in the movie, like the thing that was the well, I protagonist. Mean, well, I'll the, tell you. Well, you I'll know. tell you what comes to mind is the changeling. Yeah, that's kind of like that as well, sure. where, you know, you think it's, you know, this ghost of this kid, but he's, he's telling the story. It's kind of, sim- it's really kind of similar to this where there was a tragedy happened yeah. and you're, and you, you're, and you as, you know, you're trying to piece it together 
to, to, to really kind of complete this, this, this image, this picture. And so, yeah. yeah. And so that, that comes to mind Roth and there's probably a couple other ones out there as well, Yeah, but yeah, for sure, man. But yeah, no, I mean, this is a, this is a killer movie, man. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I would put this on, um, uh, you know, this is on the level I would say, I mean, it's probably a lot of people probably don't know it as much as like say ring or Ringu and all the, you know, the grudge and stuff like that. But, mm-hmm. um, I, I would absolutely put that in the ballpark. I mean, it's a fantastic movie. It's, you know, yeah. It, it's creepy. It's, you know, visually. Yeah, man. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, first, uh, first movie that, uh, horror movie anyways, it, well, I, I'd say just movie that I've seen out of Thailand. You know? Yeah. 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 Ah, um, phones. Oh, phone. Yeah, nice. I didn't, uh, you didn't put didn't it on it. silent. That's no. all right. That's going to happen. First ding for me. Yeah. Of the new, of the new run of, uh, yeah, yeah. The new run of episodes. Yeah, that's it's, okay. It's my mommy. It's your mom. Yeah. Colin. Um, yeah. Uh, but I mean, we're pretty much, uh, wrapped up, man. Yeah. Um, you yeah, know, anything sure. else that we, I, I don't, I think we hit on just about everything. I think we did. Yeah. yeah. I think so no, too. I think it's, um, like it's a good movie. Yeah, I would I'm glad you liked it. it. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't sure. I thought you'd like it, but I wasn't positive, but I, you know, yeah. I'm trying to think of something different for us to do. And oh, definitely. You know. And that was, that yeah. was right in there, man. Yeah. That cool. was good. Cool, man. Well, uh, thanks again for coming on out. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, everyone, uh, take yeah. care. Yep. You listened all the way to the end. We appreciate that. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Ear for Fear Podcast, Twitter at Ear for Fear, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Ear for Fear Podcast. You can also check out our website, earforfear.com. There we list news and events. We're available on all the main platforms, so make sure you tell a friend. We hope you come back and get an earful.